Hey Equestrian Gamers, Kuli here and welcome back to another video. Today we are checking out Wild Horse Island's latest event which was released today, which is their spring event. Now there is, oh my gosh guys, I love this event so much. This is hands down my favourite event. And I've seen all of the events on Wild Horse Islands. This, yep, this tops them. This is my personal favorite events. Oh my gosh. It is just so cute. There's butterflies. <laughs> and that sold me. I was just like, oh, no, that's it. That's what did it for me. That's why it's my favorite, because there's butterflies. Mm -hmm. That's all it took. So we are going to be going through um, the event today. I'm going to explain to you guys how the, the event works and what you need to do. And also show you guys um, some of the items and the event horses as well. So just a reminder, this is an event, not an update, which means when the event ends, that's it. You will not see the horses in the wild or in the stores anymore and you will not be able to get the accessories anymore. The only way to get those things after the event ends, which is in two weeks, is to trade for them. So they're all limited time. Now, there's a couple of things that we need to know. So there is a difference between your spring tokens, which is these ones up here, and your um, butterflies. So you can use your spring tokens, which is those ones there, to purchase event horses when they come um, for sale in the horse sale market thingy. I don't know what to call it. Wait, what is it called? It just says a rare horse for sale. So yeah, in where they sell horses, um, you can use the tokens on that. And you can also use your spring token at any of the Larry in the event shop, which is this one here. Now, you can get these items using butterflies instead of spring tokens. So if you have all the horses and you're like, hmm, what am I going to spend these on? You can spend them in the store here. Now, for your butterflies, you do need butterflies to be able to hand in to a new NPC and a fountain to be able to get Easter goodies. No, not Easter, spring. Spring goodies, sorry guys. <laughs> Easter just automatically came to my mind. So to get butterflies, you can only get them on Forest Island, where I am now, and Mainland. That's the two islands where you can collect butterflies. Aren't they cute? They're so adorable. And they don't move like the souls did in Halloween those things were zooming around and they were frustrating to catch but these ones easy peasy <laughs> so you can also just run through the butterfly to collect it like so there was a bug where you had to have um, a harvester on hand to be able to do it but I believe that bug is fixed now let's see is that a Clydesdale I'm gonna get you you don't you go too far I'm coming for you all right so no harvester yep and it collected automatically. So that's the butterflies there. So a beautiful spring butterfly. Bring these to Luna on mainland for a special reward. So I have been collecting quite a few. That's actually um, half of what I had. But hang on, guys. I need this Clydesdale. The next update. Is that another Clydesdale over there? Oh, my gosh. Next update, guys, is the remodel of Clydesdales. So... Get your hands on these Clydesdales while you still can. Breed them while you still can. Because once these beautiful animals have been remodeled, they will no longer be... You won't be able to catch them in game and you won't be able to breed them. You can still trade them, but you won't be able to breed them. So definitely get that all done before the next update. Hello, other Clydesdale. I'm guessing this is why there's so many Clydesdales around in game lately. It's either just really good luck or um, we're getting a chance to prepare for the remodeling. There we go. I'm going to keep that one as well. I need to breed all these onto Frisian coats before I can't breed them too. So another thing on my list of things to do. So expect a lot more breeding um, videos. 
All right. Oh, oh, we want to pick that up. Boop. How cute is the new icons as well, guys? Aren't they adorable? I think they're quite cute. But what we're going to do is we're going to head to mainland. I'm going to show you guys what you do with your butterflies. Now, I did already um, spend quite a lot of the butterflies um, with Luna, the new NPC. Go to mainland. Loading, loading. All right, so let's head over there and then I shall explain. Go, 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 go. Oh, if you want, um, always make sure you take care of your horse too. So you can see up here that my horse needs to be brushed. This is Blushing Bride as well, guys, if you're not familiar with this one. This is Blushing Bride. She's actually wearing the butterfly pin from last year. So that was last year's event. Oh, she's such a sweetheart. Okay, but let's get our brush. Brushy brush. There we go. And that gave me 46 of the spring tokens. I keep I keep almost saying Easter. <laughs> Whoops. All right. So where we're going is over to this gorgeous greenhouse. When I first logged in this morning, there was a picture of this greenhouse and my heart melted. And I'm like, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Look at the flowers. They're all tulips. Oh, actually, I want that just in case a event horse comes into the store for tokens. Oh, my gosh. This is so cute. All righty. Oh, good. There is a tie. I'm going to leave you here blushing bright. There we go. Oh, um, also, because I probably will be asked, um, her mane and tail is the Peachy Fade dye, which you can only get from treasure chests. That's the only way you get it, unless you trade for it, of course. Um, but yeah, Peachy Fade dye is what is on Blushing Bride here. Okay, now, so this is a bit of a oh, too far, too far. There we go. So this is where you want to be bringing all of your court butterflies. Now, don't try catching those ones like I did when I first logged in. It's, yeah, no. <laughs> Therefore, decoration. <laughs> it took me a while to figure that out. Now, this is Luna, the butterfly expert. Now, for Luna, you want to bring Luna 1,500 butterflies to get this horse behind me, which is the Monarchy. Is that how it's said? No, the monga, mona, monarch. Um, Percheron. There we go. So you will get one. I do not believe that it's every 1,500 uh, butterfly. Um, I don't think it's working like that. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, please. Um, but I've actually already handed in 1,500 to Luna. And I... What? Oh, I'm going to have to try and find him now. Uh, where is he? Here we go. And this is the one I got. And he's, yes, hello. And he's stunning. So along with him, I got a lot of cool accessories, which I will be showing you guys as well. I'm just trying to speed up the video a little bit for you guys. Like, Look at his tail. Isn't that cool? Such a beautiful horse i'm trying to actually make sure this video wasn't going to be an hour long like um it was going to be so <laughs> so speeding along speeding along now that is luna so 1500 butterflies to her to get this horse this is the fountain the spring fountain where you can also give butterflies to for more rare items including now this is cool including some of last year's items. So that is really, really cool. Now, I'm guessing the dyes as well are from this fountain because I got no dyes from Luna either. I just got accessories. Um, but yeah, the butterflies you give to the fountain do not go towards the horse. It has to be Luna only for the horse. But I thought... That we shall, because I've got about 1,150 or so butterflies at the moment. 
So I thought, you know what? Why don't we throw all of them into this fountain and we shall see what we get. Hopefully my inventory is not full. Oh, wait. How much space do I have? Oh, yeah. I think it'll be okay. Alrighty. Oh, my gosh. Oh, hopefully. Hopefully it's good stuff. You can also get Robux items um, from the fountain as well. So, and it costs quite a lot more. So for Luna, it's only 15 for the spring fountain, it's 150, which makes sense because it's rarer items. Yes, I definitely want to do this. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's a flower kite. Okay, hang on. We're going to put this on. <gasps> okay, that's cute. So they come in all different colors. Okay. Oh, we've got another one. So red and tin. Oh, I do prefer the red, actually. Okay, come on. Oh, the tail tulip, yes. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, I really want the tulip crown. So we have the Easter halter, so the spring limited Easter halter. Oh, there we go, see? So this one, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me bring it up again. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh. So the tail tulip in turquoise. Probably pronounced that incorrectly. Oh, that's cute. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So um, that is the Easter um crown. Polo wraps in the Easter egg blue. Oh, looking cute. I don't have enough spring butterflies. <gasps> Did I spend them all already? Oh, no. I didn't get any of the... Oh, sad. So I've spent quite a while collecting those butterflies. So they go super fast when you are giving them to the fountain. So I definitely wanted to get this horse first. So I went with um, Luna, giving all of my butterflies to Luna. Um, and then, yeah, now that I've got uh, like tons of stuff from her, I'm definitely going to be concentrating on this fountain. But the Easter stuff is so cute. Look. Isn't it adorable? It is very, very cute. And I do like the tulip. Definitely. Anything to do with flowers, I am absolutely thrilled with. <laughs> So what I will do is um, I will put a pinned comment. Um, it'll actually be Trick's complete um, update log. So um, everything that he says about the event will be in the pinned comment. So definitely check that out. But before we go, I definitely want to show off some of the, a couple of the accessories that I got from Luna here. And also the three event horses. So this is only one of them. We do have three event horses. So we will check them out as well.